Well, in charge tonight, another chapter in, in the stellar career of, of a wonderful player, 70 caps for Ireland, many of them as captain, is uh, Joy Neville, who's in charge tonight. The 2017 World Referee of the yeah. Year did the women's final in Dublin, the World Cup, last summer. And here she is, uh, the first woman to referee a Pro 14 professional men's game. It's the Kings, and that's a clever enough kick. Here's they got the victory, it was the narrow loss to um, Ulster. Here comes Cooney looking for the first try, and it's going to be Gilroy, and he is going to get the first try. And Craig Gilroy gets in for try number 56 in this Pro 12 stroke 14 competition. Great start by Ulster. Yeah, great control of the back of the mall by John Andrew. Then Cooney's able to pick at the, there's two or three decoy runners there. Gilroy taking that short ball in the back. Of Stuart McCluskey who comes in the short line. He's the decoy. Gilroy then has the fancy work, the footwork and the strength. To see him go over for a simple five pointer. Just exactly 15 minutes gone. Is the gap going to be closed? It is indeed. And uh, Masakoli Banda has popped it right between the Ulster posts. Port of an hour gone, and it's the Southern Kings trailing Ulster. Ulster seven and the Kings three. Here come Ulster again. Ferocious defending by the Kings. Cooney, Andrew. There's fellow front row man Andy Warwick. Now it's Cooney. McPhillips, oh beautiful. Here comes Gilroy. Back inside to McCluskey. They're not going to stop him. And McCluskey gets over for Ulster's second try and his ninth of the uh, Pro 14. Nicely finished off, good work in the middle of the park, all about concentration. Yeah, Ulster regrouped well, huge hit from Scoltz on Vian Herbs in the middle, but Ulster managed to recycle. And again, it's Big Phillips, Jim, he's playing flat to the game line, inviting runners on to him. Lovely death switch of the ball on the inside, Gilroy runs those lines so well, and again, Good offload to McCluskey, who's there, runs that line inside, picks up the pass, and if you're not there, you're not going to get the points. Yeah, I had to finish off that because of that great determination, nice little show, and wonderfully done, and Gilroy around the perfect angle, and a fine sidestep by Stu McCluskey. The short ball to the skipper, Alan O'Connor, seems to work. O'Connor is standing three in the lineup at the front, Andy Warwick, then Chris Henry. Yeah, that's worked again. Now, can they get the drive on? It's gone to ground, illegally or otherwise, so also will have to work even harder. But they are working hard, and here they come again. Crowd starting to get behind them. But I don't know they're going to shut over from here. John Cooney has it wide by Cooney. Will they miss it out? And Gilroy's going to get in again. He's stretched. And the try has been given, and Gilroy gets a second. Ulster's third try, he really had to work for that. Every ounce of strength and every bit of uh, length in his arm, and he managed to get over. Yeah, good positioning by Joy Neville, backpedalling, got herself just where she had to be to see Gilroy putting that down, but it's just a little bit soft from the Kings. They don't get off the line at all there. Cooney's able to run four or five metres across the pitch, pick out who he wants to. And really, if you're set back in your heels like that, Gilroy has the pace, the strength, running between two men. And also produced a pretty decent second half performance. That hasn't found touch. Louis Ludic gets it to McPhillips, who finds Gilroy. And here he goes. He's got Luke Marshall with him. This could be the bonus point inside to McPhillips. His first Ulster try. And what a way to celebrate it. And the replacement threatening to overwhelm him. Not much in the way of emotion in the face of Johnny McPhillips. He's a lot more to do and what we hope will be a long career with Ulster. But that was a fabulous piece of backup play by Ulster's new outside half. Yeah, it really was. All started by great defensive structure and shape from Ulster getting the turnover. Ball comes back. I mean, Phillips, Jim, is just full of running. He's got a sensational pass off both hands. Flat and hard. Look at that off the left hand. Gilroy then with space, just identifies the space. Offload to Marshall and plays inside, and McPhillips takes one. Matty Ray knocked the ground. Cooney gets it away, well taken by Timoney. Louis Ludic, just a nice wee delay on that. Oh, good pass, wonderful stuff. Rob Little, can he get in again? He can, you know. What a finish by Rob Little. Strength and determination and pace. And what a, what a good finish by Rob Little. Yeah, listen, this guy has got serious nose for that goal line as well. And... That was through the eye of a needle, wasn't it? Lovely pass from McCluskey off his right hand, just doing enough to get over the King's defender. 
Timothy to Ludic, just looks a little bit lateral, but McCluskey looks up, fires a fantastic pass. Rob Rob Little's got a lot to do, Jim. Right, but they're taking it forward yet again. Close again. Bobby DeVee, who spilled it. That's unfortunate. Now, back to McPhillips, who's going to run. He has got a bit of pace now. Needs to give it. Maybe he doesn't need to give it. Gets it away well. Here comes McCluskey. And here comes Cooney. Foot in the gas. He's got Gilroy wide. Are we going to get a hat trick from Craig Gilroy? Just about. Yes, we are. What a finish by Gilroy. Joy Neville wants to have another little look at that. But from my money, Craig Gilroy has got a hat trick. Yeah, I'd agree with you, Jim. First instinct to the ball down. I think maybe just potentially A, look at the grounding, and then B, Gilroy's knees. But Joy Neville's happy to give it. She's had a chat with her touch judge and given it. But again, it's McPhillips, Jim. There's just. He has that bit of maverick in him at scrum half. He looks up, he plays what he sees. That's the beautiful thing. He's not pre programmed. Yes, there is a system. Yes, there is a pattern. But if it's on to go, he goes. And heck of a turn of speed from him as well, wasn't it? He's played just about every.